This is a multi-million dollar sea view at $12.2 million. This penthouse at Silver Sea offers spectacular sea views with beautiful sunrises and luxury, giving you a duplex 4 bed, 6 bath, 4,596 square feet of living space. And Property Brothers is bringing you to this exclusive home tour. Let's check it out with us. It's one of a kind duplex penthouse that you can rarely find in District 15. And this penthouse is really rare because uh, Fais has always kept them and they have not released them for sale. We are in one of the very rare corner stack that not only have this front facing south sea view, you also have this part of the view that stretches towards the entire Marina Bay Sands and you can see Sentosa Cove and Marina Bay from here. This duplex penthouse comprised of 4 bed, 6 bath, gigantic living room with 5.5 meter ceiling, fantastic dining area with a dual view, a balcony fronting towards the south side, side balcony facing towards the city side, entertainment kitchen, wet kitchen, laundry room at the back, helpers utility room, two huge bedrooms downstairs with a Jack and Jill ensuite. As you head upstairs, there is a 6 star master room with your own private study plus a roof terrace and a junior master suite. It's fabulous, right? This property is all about the sea. Silver Sea is highly exclusive and you can only get this with the penthouses at this residence. Far East Organization presents Silver Seas, an architectural expression of the silver horizon where the skies meets the sea. The development comprises of 383 units with the height of 21 stories. On the 11th floor, a sky promenade stretches across to links two towers. The sky promenade presents everyone with the opportunity to enjoy a spectacular sunrise and sunset. Designed to incorporate the scenic view, deep pools with infinity edges connect seamlessly with the horizon, while heated jacuzzis are positioned for breathtaking views all around. Alright, and I think we should start at the balcony space. Let's go. <laughs> The view from your balcony is really spectacular. You can literally count how many ships you have from your balcony space. Hey Drew, uh, I thought you have a fun fact that you want to ask. Yes, uh, okay for a fun fact question Melvin. Okay. Do you know why are all the stationary ships facing in the same direction? Yeah, so if you know the answer, why don't you leave a comment down below <laughs> to this fun fact question that Adrian has. Okay. So there are five penthouses here. Right now, this corner penthouse is a beauty because not only does it face south towards the sea view, this is facing towards the city, so you get both the city view plus you get a front facing sea view directly. This balcony is really exclusive. There is a 1.8 meters frosted glass. Being a corner stack unit, you do notice that you have a total privacy all the way to your bedrooms. Street 15 East Coast is one of the hottest and most popular area in Singapore. And a lot of people are looking for East Coast property because of this sea view. This is one of the longest stretch. It is actually undergoing a lot of rejuvenation. In fact, some parts have already been rejuvenated. There are six different portions that the government is putting a lot of attention to. That yes. looks like... Uh, That's the old big splash. Like, I come from the era, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right over at that direction. Over there, we are facing Marina Bay Sands, Shenton Way, and you can see Gardens by the Bay, and the plot of island over there is Sentosa, Harbour Front Dock over here as well. You see that green tunnel there? Once you walk out from the side gates from Silver Sea's Tennis Court, the underground tunnel, it will bring you on the other side of East Coast Park, and then you can head over to East Coast Park, and you can cycle even all the way towards Marina Bay Sands. So, let's head back in, Adrian. Alright, so Silver Sea was completed in the year 2014. The developer Far East, they have always kept the penthouse under their own collection. They have rarely released a penthouse like this for sale. This one right here located at Tower 1 is a rare find because it is the only one that has this corner stack facing which is very different from the rest of the penthouses right here. So this 4596 square feet duplex penthouse located at Tower 1, asking price is at $12.2 million. The 
material used for this apartment is of quality marble flooring. You also have a travertine marble wall feature at the entrance and you also have this ducted air condition in the living space to give an even airflow throughout this whole entire area. Ceiling height 5.5 meters with 12.6 meters. Yeah, and uh, it is rare to get a width of 12.6 meters because this 12.6 meters means that you not only have this fantastic living and dining room combined, you also have a 12.6 meters view of the entire sea. And Singapore, to get this sea view not only on level one but also on level two of your duplex penthouse, you should really keep this penthouse as one of your collection pieces. Silver Sea is actually very close to the edge of the land plot. If you pop by here and have a look, we are just right beside Chinese Swimming Club. And the beauty of having a Chinese Swimming Club right beside us is because your view over here is protected. There are no other projects that is directly right in front of us. The rest of the projects at Amber, they are slightly towards the setback of that angle. So this allows you to have this beautiful greenery view right here at this direction as well. As we head towards here, you get to see the stadium view from here. That means that during celebrations, you get to see fireworks not only from the Kalang Stadium, you also get to see celebrations along the Marina Bay Zone. Because you're right on level 20, this sea view just seems like at your hand's reach and uh, I think your kids are going to enjoy sitting here. All right, I think with that, we should start from the private lift lobby. Hi. When you come home, even the private lift lobby door frame yeah. I shouldn't call this a door frame, I should call this a lift frame is even cladded with a travertine marble material The moment you step in, you get this nice four panels of storage space for your shoes and these are all nicely done for you When you buy something that is more than 12 million you right. get this kind of custom made uh, handles mm -hmm. that pops uh, right into your door frame handle uh, for your shoe cabinet This is really a nice finishing Yep. This is your back door that will serve towards your service lift lobby So you have a private lift lobby, you also have a two service lift right at the back When you come in, you still have a main glass door panel And the moment you step in, you will get to see this beautiful sea view when you head home My heart's been ripped wide open So many mixed emotions as you head towards the living space, the 5.5 meter ceiling is one of the key highlights because of the high windows, you don't really have to want any lights in the day. Over here at the living area, you get to see this all day long sea view right from the living room and also you get this sheltered balcony space where you can use it during a rainy day or sunny day, you can also use that balcony. Beautiful view, great space, nice sea view great size balcony and it comes with a sheltered balcony as well Wow, you can look at the speedboat just zooming past your apartment <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about dining space, Adrian I don't think that I'm being that selfish right now You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow Imagine having your breakfast and meals over here Wow, this is really a fantastic site that one can own in the property The dining room is of great space I think this is an understatement for a dining space It can go up to probably child seater very comfortably over here The developer has palm in a lot of quality finishing right here So marble flooring throughout All the way starting from the private lift lobby uh, flowing in towards the living space and in fact the bay area in terms of the bay window latch these are all clad with marble finishings as well Dr. Aircon is all nicely tucked right into the ceiling so this is already all done for you in this luxury apartment the entire dining space this is so huge that you still have a lot of space right in this direction you also have spaces right here that allows you to sit here Look at the sea view um, You can do your work here from home And uh, this feels like, oh my goodness I feel like I'm in a cafe <laughs> Yeah, and the sea is like right at your fingertips uh, I think your kids are going to love this Oh, is that an eagle? Yeah, and we are higher than the eagle <laughs> <laughs> Let's head over towards this direction 
Now this is the beginning of your entertainment kitchen. Your entire entertainment kitchen not only allows you to have a look at the sea view, it also allows you to have a look at the city facing right from here. We should explore this balcony right here. So let's come on. Alright, so this is the view that you get. Entire apartment we have checked out. It spans over 270 degrees view facing. The only view you don't get is you don't get to see Parkway Parade. So you want to be very close to the shopping mall, but you don't want to see it. Because the best views are all towards the sea, the city. Later as you head towards the bay, you get to see the entire East Coast and Katong area as well. This portion is the entire amber and clay. The landed properties at the back, these are the Goodman estate areas. You get to see the landed view from here as well. Love the fact that you get to see this entire long strip of trees. I think views are something that is definitely worth for you to purchase. Alright, let's have a look at the entertainment kitchen. I think the entire entertainment kitchen is really well planned with all Gaggenau appliances. And it comes fully fitted with this coffee machine as well and this oven and guess what is this? This is a steam oven and if you like to heat up your dishes, just place it on top. Close it and it will heat up for you. Yeah. And also it comes with this wine chiller. It's great for you to entertain your guests and friends with really chilled wine. So this area serves as a breakfast area and it's really a great space for you to prepare your breakfast for your loved ones, um, for them to head up to school or uh, to work. Even the built-in table right here, these are all done with marble finishing. So you can use this as a mini island. At the same time, you can also use this as a nice breakfast table zone. Right behind us, these are entire rows of storage space. You can put up a lot of stuff. Bloom pull-out drawers at the bottom. Gaggenau two-door fridge that is provided for you. This nice hanging rack that is uh, right attached from the ceiling, it also adds a lot of uh, functionality towards the usage of your dry kitchen. You have your own nice mini sink right here, as well as a lot more tabletop space towards this direction. I think the beauty is the fact that you have a nice open view that is fronting towards your dining space. As we head in, we are amazed with this <laughs> automatic door. Yeah, uh, this is a hotel light kind of feel. Yeah, so when uh, you are you're finished cooking some dishes and then you want to bring your dishes out, let's have a look at how this feels like. Hey, will this close by itself? Yes, automatic. Oh my goodness, check this out. Okay, so let's say if you are serving something, right. you have things on your hand, you just do an elbow press. All right. Oh my goodness, this is like... Yes. It's so interesting. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> okay, so, wet kitchen. You have three different Gaggenau cooker systems. Induction stoves, open flame stoves as well. Cooker hood plus... Uh, this oven. Yeah, this is a full-size oven. oven. Yeah, so that means just now the oven that outside is actually a microwave. Uh, this is a full-size baking oven. You also have a full glass panel plus even more dish racks right at the top as well. Over here, you have a dishwasher. And below the sink, you have two chairs of drawers, soft clothes. And over here, you have another mini fridge for your vegetables. Two side cabinetries. And as well, you have this freezer for all your meats. Yeah, so I think it's uh, really smart to have the fridge and the freezer right located under your kitchen top. That gives you so much more convenience when you're preparing for dishes. That leaves your external fridge in your entertainment kitchen really for and other kind of stuff that are non-raw. Notice that uh, this huge sink here, Frank Brandt, Hans Grohe kitchen tap as well. There's also a lot of top storage and these are all soft closure hinges. So as you move inwards, You have a helper's room here. If not, you can use this as your utility room as well. It has its own ventilation window. Pretty good size. You also have another WC washroom right here. And this entire space is dedicated for your yard zone. This is a great space for you to do a laundry as well. It comes inbuilt with a washer and a dryer as well. You can use this entire tabletop as your laundry zone. You can iron right here, keep stuff at the top. Plus the fact that you still have an additional home shelter right here. And this has already been converted with a pull-down bait. You can use this as your helper's area. Nowadays, if you want to remove the home shelter door, it can be done as long as you keep the door. So usually what people do is that they will build a storage uh, somewhere within the home shelter to keep the door. When they sell the place, you have to reinstate the home shelter door to its original conditions. You have another back door right here towards the service 
lobby. Pretty good space, nice ventilation. We have to check this, Adrian. Notice you have a hanger switch here. So this is to control your remote system for this Orlan clothes drying rack. So this can come down, you can hang your clothes, you can go up. Yard space is definitely fantastic. So as you come back, oh, it's drizzling now. Even when it's raining, it looks so beautiful. I'm not ready for this winter weather. As we head towards the bedrooms on level 1, you will bypass your powder room. Even the powder room looks so good. Wow, that's such a nice view right from the powder room. Of course, all the blinds are already done. Yeah, if you like to do your business in the open, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so nice thing here, you have a hot water system that is already done. So the bathrooms, including the powder room, these are all done with marble finishings on the floor and the wall. As we head in, this is a private bedroom area, so it's cut away from the entertainment zone, which is the living and dining room. So if you entertain over there, uh, this is your resting area. So as we come over at this direction, you have two bedrooms on level one. This is a room that links towards the other common bedroom with a Jack and Jill bath. This faces towards the back. You get to see the entire amber area, the famous roundabout that is very close to Parkway Parade and that is Katong area, so it's facing towards north. Bedroom size, fantastic. We have put in a queen bed here. There are so much more room to move around. Nice study table, wardrobe comes intact. So as we head in, this is the Jack and Jill bathroom so similarly these are all done with nice marble finishing this bathroom is space efficient and it's very convenient that this bathroom serves this two bedroom yeah so the jack and jill bathroom is pretty good size standing shower area nicely done still have another area right here this is where the makeup area is yeah so wash basin so you have some bottom storage space these directions nicely done the second bedroom they also have the same facing as that first common bedroom as well the moment we come to the bedrooms we get to see long timber strips that are being done for the flooring so you can re-varnish them similarly the bay windows are all done with nice marble cladding there are cove lighting system at this direction as well and of course even for the bedrooms these are all done with nice ducted air we like the fact that these two bedrooms faces towards the amber side. You have a nice internal staircase that leads you to level 2. Even for this staircase, there are some areas of storage right here and even under the staircase, you can also build additional storage. So let's head up to level 2. Let's go. Level 2 I think is even more exciting. The space is so well planned. The moment you come out here, you have a nice welcoming zone. You can use this as a mini display area. I would recommend that you build some nice bookshelves right at these two walls here. Put in some nice reading armchairs. Yes, and this could be a little area for family zone as well. So this links towards the outdoor roof terrace deck. You get to see that same amber facing as well. This is a nice mini roof terrace deck that you can have. I think you can just use this as a nice gardening area. We saw carpet grass. You have another powder room here that you can utilize as a gas powder room. And this will then lead to the junior suite. I used to spend my by myself, you know. Thought that all I needed was the one to hold, but I was wrong. Huge in size. Adrian, I think we will need to check out the bathroom. Yes, this you will love the bathroom. The view. Wow, this bathroom itself comes with marble flooring and marble wall tiles. This bathroom also leads you to your open terrace over here. If you'd like to have a jacuzzi, you can install one over here. And after your session, you can just hop right in to have a shower. As we head over to the master suite, this is a really 
beautiful feature. Before you head to the master suite, there is a viewing deck as well over here you can access right outside. The beauty of this master suite is that this can be used as a study area for your entire family. Other than being a study zone, you can actually roll out your entire wardrobe right along this U-shaped wall. So this can be like a walk-in wardrobe or even your home office. And this wall over here, you can literally knock it down to make this as one of the family zone too. Now as you head in, Got to feel in heaven when my lover's near Wow, check out this bedroom, bro. This is really nice. Look at the sea view. Wow, look at the ship. Wow, look at the big one over there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's really nice. Oh man, it's really nice. It's really nice. Your master room is definitely having one of the best views similarly to what you have on level 1. So this view looks even more elevated. You just get to see this entire beautiful sea view right from your master suite. If you were to lie down here and then you wake up in the morning, you have a look at this view. This is really fantastic. You can sit here. Nice reading chair. Alright, let me take a... have some sun over here. Yeah. All right. Really great. You don't have to on any lights. It's beautiful. Yeah, look nice at the clouds, bright. the sky, the sea, and the ships. Nice. Wow. So Adrian, let's check this out. With you, the sun is shining 24 7. Because when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. Wow, you have a long bath right inside the master ensuite and it looks right out to the sea. Very good corner facing. This is the city view as well as the entire corner sea view. This entire zone is so nicely done. Marble finishes, long bath area, dual shower, shower area. area. <laughs> wow. Dual. Ray shower at the top. I said, Melvin, you got to look at this material. This is really solid and the moment you touch this and you look up to the sea, you can really imagine you are right out at the sea. <laughs> yeah, these are nice stone finishes. Dual sink system right here with very quality finishes. And then uh, these are all automated glass doors. Looks so like you're in a hotel. It really feels like you're in a six-star hotel. So I think the master is really one of the key highlights. Internal wardrobe space. Nice total WC with... Oh my goodness, check this out. Yeah, these are all automated. Wow, well, these are really high tech. Yeah, and uh, of course you have a nice Japanese style kind of sanitary fittings right here. Even this view is fantastic. I don't think you have to close out your blinds. You can just, <laughs> you can just sit here, look at the view. Okay, uh, it's good to have some uh, bottom privacy screen already installed. Yeah. Enjoy your day. And then as you head out, Actually for 4,000 plus square feet duplex apartment, the maintenance fee is actually reasonable. 2,006 per quarter is less than about 900. 900? Yeah, that's yeah. about 900 per month. So it's really reasonable because you have almost 4,600 square feet of size. So much space to move around. This project is well served by a race of amenities, availability of reputable schools, Parkway Parade Shopping Centre and the upcoming Marine Parade Station which is currently under construction. As well as surrounded by a plenty of dining, retail, recreation and transport options. Tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Gardens by the Bay and the newly opened Jewel Changi Airport are only about 10, 12 and 18 minutes drive with East Coast Park at the doorstep. Residents are spot for choice from relaxing pursue to vibrant water sports. Alright, we've come to the end of this home tour at Silver Sea with a massive size of 4,596 square feet of duplex penthouse. If you enjoy this 270 degrees panoramic view and you want to have a look at a physical place, do click on the link right down below. Do remember to subscribe to our Property Limb Brothers YouTube channel to have more videos coming your way. This is our luxury penthouse series. This is one of a kind. $12.2 million duplex penthouse that is indeed a very rare find in uh, Singapore right now. And uh, once again, my name is Melvin Lim. I'm Adrian Lim. Property, Property Lim Brothers, Brothers redefining luxury, luxury homes. homes. Take care. Take care. With a fantastic view of 270 degrees view of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so welcome to hey, this. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> Okay, so Silver Sea was completed in the year 2014. Uh, this development sorry, has... Sorry, 2013. Uh. Uh, you can just go to the swimming club right from this penthouse, just... Uh. Anyway, <laughs> forget it. Uh. <laughs> this property is all about the sea. 
Right, literally when you're standing. <laughs> <laughs> this property is all about the view. No, uh, this property is all about the sea. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this property is all about the sea. Hey, you teach me Huh? Yes, this used to be. Hey, where are you? <laughs> okay. Enjoy the whole ambience and space. Hey, <laughs> this is a good take. Okay. You put that at twelve point six, Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. And it comes with a sheltered balcony as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two seconds. Two seconds. Huh? Huh? Um. This could be the guest bedroom, and they can literally use this whole entire area by themselves. Yes. Yeah. That's all. Oh, allow me. Pay. And if you like to have. And if you like to install a jacuzzi over here, you can do it and, and uh, one more time, one more time. Uh, you can just hop in for have, to have a shower. Mm.